Hello friends. I've never done one of these unboxing videos before, so I thought I'd give it a shot today. Recently my club purchased a couple of Keystone Sporting Arms Cricket Adult Rifles for uh, my local 4-H club's uh, shooting sports program. Now these things have a little bit longer length of pull than the regular Cricket that you might have seen on the shelf at Walmart. Uh, so they, they kind of fit in between that market, that kit, that the, the full size rifle for an adult and the small cricket rifles for a small child. Uh, a couple of years ago, we bought these little Savage Rascals for the club for that same purpose, and uh, they're kind of hard to get behind if you're a full size man. And I'm not a big guy, so. But uh, they're definitely easier to get behind for a kid than a full-size rifle. Yes. So there needs to be something in between that because they kind of outgrow these real quick. So the club decided uh, after some encouragement and some looking around that we'd get these this Keystone Cricket adult rifle. It's got a 13 and a half length of, length of pull versus their 11.5 length of pull for their regular cricket. So let's get on with the unboxing I guess after we got all that out of the way. Box is kind of cardboard box what else you expect. <laughs> Not a bad deal. Got to save buddy somewhere and they were pretty, pretty mod moderate price. $210 is what the club got them for. And, uh, well, let's take a look at the rifle first. All right, so you can see it's got a little bit longer length of pull than the, the, the uh, Savage Rascal. Uh, more, more fitting for an adult. Or medium-sized child. A little bit longer with the stock and everything, but the barrel and everything, as I understand, is the same length as the regular Cricket rifle. But we're not going to do a review on the Cricket or the Cricket rifle today. We're just going to go through the unboxing stuff. I think there will be a good purchase for the kids, and I think they'll really enjoy them. And I do appreciate the club doing this. So further back into the unboxing, got some packing material you expect that bubble wrap that's always fun and let's see what we got in the box we got the Keystone sporting arms thank you for buying our product signed by mr. Bill McNeil Keystone sporting goods CEO and veteran so hey we're out here supporting veterans that's always a good thing and then on the back side, got a little special offer. Go to their website and check out, use a code, and you can get some uh, new and exciting stuff from them, I guess. So I'll, I'll have to go check them out later again, see what if we need to uh, get some stuff from them or if I want some stuff from them. Now then, all right, let's empty out the box now. The box is empty. And inside the box, we got a happy little bag of goodies. Let's see what's in here. Now, first thing that comes out of the bag is a uh, stationary mount base compatible with three quarter, seven eighths, and one inch scope bodies and used with a three eighths dovetail wrench. And it's got all the screws to go with it. So if you want to mount, oh, and it's got its installation instructions on it too. That's pretty convenient. So I guess if you want to mount a scope on this little rifle, they give you all the hardware that you need to do that with, except for your scope and rings. But uh, we're actually mounting it on there. They got it already set up for you. It's a nice touch. Let's see what else. Hey, gun safety. You know, it's something we cover with the kids constantly, constantly, constantly. Not only the safety of what comes out of the barrel at high velocity, but what goes on around them. So we talk about hearing uh, protection. We don't let the kids shoot without them, and we don't let anybody on our ranges shoot without them. You know, for the first 
part of my life, parent protection really wasn't a big deal. It wasn't really pushed. And I grew up shooting, and then you know my armature career, it was pushed, but I dealt with some pretty high caliber stuff and blowed up a couple of times. So uh, I had pretty profound hearing loss. So I take this stuff kind of to heart now uh, with the kids. Little foam earplugs, they're not the greatest things in the world, but it sure beats nothing. Folks, protect your hearing. Because believe me, wearing hearing aids is no fun, and you miss a whole lot, especially when you talk to women and children. Uh, their voices are just don't, uh, well, for me anyway, uh, I, I can't hear them as well because their their decibels are in the ranges that I have hearing loss in. So take care of your ear, your, your ears, your ears, because man, that's important. And hey, next thing that's important too is your eyes. Look here, got some eye protection in here. The eyes are important to protect too. You're only giving two of them, and man, they're they're soft. Soft, soft, and easy to damage. So that's the other thing we push with the kids is we, we stress the eye protection in our ranges at all time. Uh, you never know what might get bounced back and hit you, guns malfunction, blow up, whatever the case may be. Uh, powder flying out. All kind of things can happen whenever you put one of these things in your hand or you're on a range. So. We stress the eye protection to the kids. And again, for our club's rules on the range, eye protection is mandatory. You have to have it whenever the range is hot. My eyes are getting to be old and weak. They're 50 years old now. And uh, they sure aren't the eyes I had when I was 20. So, hey, this is great. The company's putting that in there. That speaks a lot for them. You know, some eye protection, that's pretty cool. And then, hey, look here. Talking about safe storage, come with a, a trigger lock. Some of them come with the little cheap ones that uh, go through with a, look like a padlock. Some of them come with these that actually go around the trigger guard and through the trigger. These are better than the, the little padlocky ones. Got two keys in it. If you don't have a safe at home, those are really expensive uh, to get a good one and fairly spendy to get a cheap one. But uh, you do need to secure your firearms. Uh, protect your investment, if nothing else. You know, they, they do cost a little money, so you want to secure them. But the big thing you want to secure them from is uh, kids. Let's be honest. Kids are kids. And if you got, and not a lot of parents are teaching their kids gun safety anymore. When I was a kid growing up, uh, that was just part of the deal. Everybody knew don't mess with the daddy's guns. And, uh, my generation kind of got away from it and uh, it's a shame too you know my kids grew up in a house with the guns they were taught like I did you know and uh, we, we didn't I, we weren't lucky I don't think uh, that we didn't have any kind of accidents where somebody got hurt uh, we just uh, had the discipline and the foresight and the expose the kids to them at an early age and let them know what they do and what they're capable of and what they're for and uh, make sure they understand that uh, once you pull the trigger, either accidentally or on purpose, there's no calling that bullet back. You have to be that gun safety. You have to be that steward of that firearm. So uh, teaching those kids responsibility as soon as you can, as soon as that kid is mentally capable and disciplined enough, every kid's a little bit different. Teach them safety, but in the meantime, and all the time, even after you know, teach them safety, hey, lock your guns up. So that's really cool they put all that in there and then final thing in the little bag of goodies is their uh, single shot rifle safety and operating instructions safety and operating instruction and the first part first thing they put on there in their operating instruction warning like all firearms this rifle should only be operated under adult supervision at all times safety all the time, every time. So hey, there you go, my first unboxing. Neat little gun. Maybe I'll do a review of it by itself one day. But now it's just about warm enough in the clubhouse that I could uh, get these things dialed in so our kids can shoot them.
in uh, a week or so, I think, is when our next shoot is. So uh, y'all be good out there.